Hi, I want to connect some dots for you in terms of how spiritual wholeness can bring you physical well-being. I'm recently in about between week four and five of my wellness ministry of seven, which connects the seven days of creation with science for transformation of body, soul, and spirit. And I recently had a testimony with, from one of my clients who had said she's beginning to lose weight. Um, she's had a new, a renewed sense of identity as a daughter of Christ. She's been able to speak some things over herself that were, you know, were never spoken over herself. So she's getting into her true identity and she's casting out lies that have been spoken over her, whether it's from the enemy or doctors or even family. Um, and so the, the reality of it is <laughs> we're four weeks into seven. I haven't touched anything on follow this specific diet, do this specific workout, make sure you're taking these supplements. It's all been related to heart and, and soul. And so we're looking at the spirit and we're looking at the soul. We haven't even really done a whole lot of like the body aspect of things, but because she has chosen to walk in obedience, to forgive, you know, with her heavenly father, people who have hurt her in her past, she has confessed some sins and she is taking some practical applications on her own in terms of like choosing foods that are more nourishing. But the simple fact that she's already been set free from some depression, anxiety, and have, has begun to speak true identity over her from her heavenly father that has helped her to overcome those things, the shame and the guilt. Um, she's starting to see a physical change in her body because she has begun to confess her sin. She's been releasing forgiveness and she's speaking her true identity over herself as she's been hearing it from her heavenly father. She messaged me and she's like, I'm even losing weight. I don't know how much, but I just know that my clothes are fitting differently. And she hasn't been had to take it. She hasn't been had, she hasn't had to take her medications as often as usual. So by shedding the light of Jesus into her life, she's beginning to be set free. And like I said, I have not even given her, we need to eat this, we need to do this, you should be taking these supplements. It's all been dealing with, with issues of the heart and issues of the mind. And so it just goes to show you that God's word is true. He says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, you will be cleansed from all unrighteousness. So that's the confession that we do with our heavenly father to be cleansed spiritually. It's bringing his light of his life into our well, into our spirit so that we can cast off the darkness. We can cast off the sin. We can cast off the shame and the guilt, and we can begin to live in our true identity as a righteous son and daughter of the most high. It also says, if you confess one to another your sins, then Jesus will heal you. And so there's the practical side where if we confess our sins one to another or confess your sins one to another so that you may be healed is actually how it reads, then we have a physical response in our body to confessing our sins. So we, we shed light one to another. This is my issue. This is my sin in my life. I want to be set free from it. Then Jesus will bring the healing. And so it's just two very practical spirit and body confessions that we make in order to be well. And yeah, is confessing our sins uncomfortable? Absolutely. But how soon do you want to get free? What are you holding on to for years or that's been passed down to you generationally that is actually causing you pain in your body, whether it's unwellness or, um, you know, a physical ailment or like a, an issue that you've always just dealt with that could be actually released by confessing your sin. I also had a client who was having a physical problem with her hamstring and I just simply said to her, is there something that you're walking in in disobedience to the Lord that he's asked you to repent of and turn and go the other way? And she just started welting up with tears. And she said, yes, he's actually asked me to release this one thing that I've been doing habitually and I just haven't given it up to him. And I'm telling you, as soon as she repented and turn and went the other way, her hamstring began to heal. And so those are just two testimonies I just had to share with you because it shows the validity of God's word 
that when we confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord, he cleanses, he cleanses from all unrighteousness, which gives us the opportunity to walk in our freedom, but we have to repent and go the other way. We can't get cleansed from unrighteousness and then keep sinning. Like that's just not how it works. Um, but also when we confess our sins one to another, he is going to release healing. It might be a little trickle here and there. It might be miraculous. Um, but his word is true from the time it was written until eternity. And so he's given us very practical terms in his word on how to get set free. And so if you need someone to guide you and walk you through that, I would love to work with you. Season two of seven is going to be coming up here later in the fall. Um, and so if that's something that you feel your heart is calling you to, come and work with me. I'd love to have you. But for now, I just would encourage you that if you are someone that's been living in pain for a really long time and you know that the Lord has called you into confessing it, whether it's to him or to someone else, whether it's unforgiveness, if it's a root of bitterness, if it's jealousy, which rots the bones, according to Proverbs 15, 31, or maybe it's 14, 31, um, whatever there might be in your heart that is not supposed to be there, the Lord's asking you to release it so you can be free. That's what he asked the man by the pool of Bethesda. He gave him all these excuses why he couldn't get into the pool. And, and Jesus just says, do you want to be well? And he goes off on more excuses. And Jesus is like, do you want to be well? And he says, yes, pick up your mat and walk. So part of being well at, and picking up our mat and walking is confessing our sin and then turning and going in the other way in the fullness that he's promised for your life. You don't need to live in pain. You don't need to live in disorder and disease. You actually were meant and designed by God to live fully, to live and move and have your being in him. And it's available to you if you want it. Love you. Have a great day.